made in abyss and the goblet of giants. <laughs> Sounds like something from a Harry Potter movie. But we're finally here. We're going to the fourth layer, the goblet of giants. I wonder what awaits down there, those hot spring looking goblets. <laughs> I guess I need to find out. Here on my Made in Abyss episode 10, watch along and reaction. Let's go. Okay, the spikes. Wow, that's pretty deep. <laughs> Rika's so cute. Casually cooking their dinner. Right, so this is the the hot springs. <laughs> I like how the the abyss uh, the abyss layout is. As I mentioned before, every layer feels like a different world. So this is a I guess a hot spring themed <laughs> layer. <laughs> yeah. Are they gonna get bold alive here? <laughs> the flat creepers. I like how they're giving those explanations. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. What are they trapping? What's the prey? Are they gonna be the prey? <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to have Rico and Reg brought? <laughs> oh, it's not that deep. Yes. Oh, imagine. Going up, going up, down from the fourth layer. Yeah. The depths. Mm -hmm. Interesting. their thirst or will they receive a burning poison another deep words from the narrator poison and the curse <laughs> what are they eating this time So those are squid eggs. I bet. Uh, this is so deep that you can't even name all the the creatures. Even the sea is not that deep, but we don't know a lot of species down there. Oh, what's this? Wait, is there something else down here? It's amazing how Reg can detect it, right? From from such far distance. <laughs> the Reg zipline services. The all convenient reg stretching arms. <laughs> Are they gonna eat the squids? They better not lose each other on this fag.
What's that? Hold up, what's that? Is that a creature? Oh, this doesn't look good. What the fuck is that? This thing looks like it's gonna eat you alive, even if it doesn't have a mouth or a piercer. So if with e even with Reg's durable body, it's not safe from it. Oh no! It's fast. Yeah. Oh no! They need to get that. <laughs> Wow, this creature is intelligent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have amazing intuition. Damn. Scaled umbrella. Is it another relic that they got from Ozen? It didn't work. It just pierced right through. No, don't tell me Rico has been. So that's why this episode is titled Poison and Curse. Get the weapon, then run. You can really feel the the pain from Rico's voice there. No, do they have to cut off Rico's arm? Yes, think, Reg. Think. Where's the blaze rip? Oh, oh the sound. No. Yes, no one's gonna take care of Rico. Mm. Fuck. Yeah, they're cornered. The poison may not get her, but I see. So that's why it's poison and curse. Reg has to choose. This one is a tough one, a very tough dilemma for Reg. Is there any other option that he can choose? Ragius scream. Oh, I wonder how that would feel for Rico. Oh, thank goodness she didn't bled. But does the poison? really had an effect to her? Oh yeah, I think it is. I was wondering because she was half dead, right? Oh no. She's 
na hallucinating. It's happening. No, not like this. Oh, damn. Oh, no, this is too painful to watch. No, you're not all right. You're bleeding all over your, your body. Oh, this is so painful to watch. So it's not a choice. Oh, fuck. That looks so terrible. Ah. So it's not. A choice between curse and poison, it's both for Rico. I'm also getting nervous for Rico. They're gonna cut Rico's arm. Oh. Rico looks so terrible. I feel so bad for her. Describing it really sounds painful. Ah, uh, are they gonna show <laughs> how they're doing this? Oh, no. fuck. Imagine the pain, even just watching it. Oh. Fuck. can't if, if that's me in in Reg's position I don't know if I can do this but he has no choice you need to do it to save Rico oh she's losing consciousness no stay strong Rico hang in there oh No, it's too early for that, Rico. Hang in there. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's very unsettling. Hmm. Hmm. 
No. These little fuckers. Is the blood? Oh no. She's getting pale. She's losing blood so much. No. No. Is she dead? Is that it? No, no way. Oh no. You need to revive her, Reg. But does you know how to? Like, first aid, resuscitation, or CPR, stuff like that. He even didn't finish cutting off Rico's arm. Oh, here comes the furry. Love is tough now. Finally, her time has arrived. Mm -hmm. Let's set priorities first, Reg. Let's save Rico first. Is she the one that Reg sensed earlier? Without hesitation. Reg is so desperate. <laughs> I like how dead her <laughs> expression is. It's like she's used to seeing people dying in front of her eyes. <laughs> she's giving instructions like it's nothing. Oh, there you go. That worked. I guess Reg just really needs to learn proper resuscitation. Not yet, it's not over yet. Yep. You need to sort out the poison. And she and he even He Reg doesn't even finish cutting off the poison from Rico's arm <laughs> so Yeah, so he actually broke it just to fix it. <laughs> if only this girl showed her a bit earlier, then Reg wouldn't have to break Rico's arm, and I wouldn't have to go that, and I I, I have I I don't need to go through that suffering. <laughs> Watching it happen on front of my eyes. Is this place not affected by the curse? She's like a a mole, right? She also had those whiskers. I thought she was a rabbit at first. Oh. Does she live alone? <laughs> Is 
is that her actual body or is just her clothing that's making her so round? As as she said, like a fluffy no good of me. <laughs> Is she a cave raider? Uh, no, I bet two sorry leftovers from the cave raiders who died here. Whoa. Nanachi. A furry. <laughs> a hello. How to summarize this episode in just four letters? Pain. I can't. The suffering is too much on this episode. I even stopped breathing for a while in there watching Rico undergone that uh, that experience. It's too painful. It's too painful for me to watch that. It's too painful for me to see what happened to Rico and it's too painful to watch. <laughs> I'm glad I finished watching it. I had to to support Rico. Is this what the actual Made in Abyss experience is? Am I now starting to feel what it's like watching this, the true nature of this show? Let me know. <laughs> I am now in the world of pain and suffering. Is this the start? <laughs> but finally the furry rabbit or mole has finally appeared and her name is Nanachi. Okay just to make it clear guys. I don't have a thing for furries, it's just like she caught my attention on the opening because she have ears because who doesn't like cute girls with animal ears, right? Right? But yeah, this one is a very painful episode to watch but it's definitely an experience. This scene would definitely be engraved on my brain, on the deepest part of my pain receptors. <laughs> I wonder what will happen next. Is this the time where Nanachi is gonna join their party and the three of them will travel down? But yeah, thanks for joining me watching this painful episode. I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer as well. <laughs> this has been your Onichao. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Ciao.